Hey guys, so I hi. am, yep, yeah, hey guys, you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, so hi. I am, it is you, I am currently going hi. to hi. Target, hi. Oh, I'm running over our grass, how do I do that every time, it's like a, it takes special effort to like run over the grass part of our driveway and I've done it every time, so, pretty impressive, so, going to Target because I'm donating all of our glassware so like um, our plates our like glasses our glass measuring cups measure. um our glass mixing bowls anything glass coffee cups all being donated so I am going um to TJ Maxx first hi guys hi guys <laughs> to TJ Maxx first and then Target and then maybe Hobby Lobby so today could be like a really bad day for our wallets like hi guys so it's a different day it's a new day um I didn't stop with my essential shopping. That was a fly. I didn't stop at just Target and TJ Maxx. I kept going. I did Amazon and I still have two things that are not here and I will insert the screen share. I think the two items that are missing from this haul are from Target. Yes. So I'm just gonna show you, what did I say earlier that I was getting cups? I think it was cups. So cups are, are in here. Um, okay, let's, let's just do a deep dive into, um, <laughs> okay. So first thing, I'm gonna justify every one of these, by the way, they are essential. They are. Okay. Mm. So first thing, normally I steer clear of a bed in a bag like every day of the week because it feels like cardboard. It's gonna feel like tissue paper. Like they don't have that luxurious quality that I look for in bedding because like I love sleep. So I really need my bedding to be soft and comfortable. However, this one, by threshold, found it at Target. I got a full queen, full slash queen. Um, I loved it. It's so nice and it's super soft and it's really fluffy. Like you can kind of see on the side, super fluffy. Um, I think it was $79.99. So it was pricey for a bed in a bag. But like when you, they have this little slip where you can feel it, which is gross because everybody has probably done that, but I'll wash it at the laundromat. <laughs> um, <sighs> So I got this for our room and I really love it. And then also for our bed, I got these rust colored throw pillows. So we got the gray and white striped uh, comforter and I got that at Target, by the way. Got these at Target. These are like $24.99 for both of them. But I love that pop of like that rusty burnt orange, especially moving into fall. And then I got this white pillow because I wanted some more texture so you can see um, it's got like little divots in it. It's really pretty. So I got that for our bed too. So that was also from Target. I think that was $19.99. We're gonna keep on moving on. So then I got these placemats because we have a dinette table. So once I do a tour of our rig, you'll be able to see at our, um, like in our dining area, there's like one kind of elongated table. So I have room for two of these. So this is Hearth and Hand with Magnolia from Target. But I love, I'll get the wrinkles out, but like it has like a little boho touch to it. Really like country cottage chic, which I really like that vibe. I cannot wait to decorate our RV. Like I cannot wait to do it and show you guys. So two of those, and I think those were $4.99 each from Target. Please don't add this up. Like if you're at home, don't, don't add this up. 
Because, like, I'm not. Because I just, I'd like to be in denial for a while. Okay. And then, since we have gotten rid of all of our glassware, I, I like wine. I've only had three sips so far. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, these are shatterproof. So, when you're going down the road, you don't have to worry if something moves around you don't have to worry about something breaking shattering making a mess so these are shatterproof they're from target these don't have a price on them they're by threshold i want to say they were like 2.99 a piece they weren't expensive but these are i thought they were really cool so target got four of those actually hang on i have the receipt oh okay there's that total okay cool cool okay fine. Everything's fine. The comforter, by the way, was 67 not 79 So the comforter bed in a bag was $67. And then the glasses were $3 a piece. So not bad. Got four of those. Um, also from Target, I got these. So these, these would be great whether you're in an RV, a house, like anywhere so these are called dream drawers and you can see they're the little divider it's right there so it comes out and you just place it and pull it to match like the width or the whatever of the drawer and you can organize like your shirts put your socks your underwear whatever use it to separate diapers whatever um i think i'm gonna use it in the boys drawers to separate like Graham's underwear from his socks, and then maybe in the kitchen to separate utensils. So I got two of these from Target. I think they were $11.99 a piece. There's the other one. Got squished because Ollie dove on it, but it's okay. So also from Target, um, Hearth and Hand with Magnolia again. $11.99? What? Okay, that's fine. It's okay. I would not have paid 11 I don't, I don't. Okay, it's fine. So I am putting this in the center of the dinette table um, and it will be in between the two placemats. And then I can put like a candle on it or um, like a fruit bowl or some sort of decorative item. I haven't figured that out. Um, I think that is all from Target. And then the two items I'm waiting for are the boys bedding. So I got them matching twin sheets and then matching twin comforters. So I got these adorable little tractor sheets and then a navy and white striped comforter. Amazon haul. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh wait, so Target had a couple more things. These were 50 cents a piece, again plastic so we're gonna do paper stuff on the weekends but during the week I wanted to have and I have a bunch more because we've been using them here so I've got these cups and bowls all 50 cents a piece I think I spent 20 bucks on a combined like, mix and match of all of those now to the Amazon okay so I got these I'm actually gonna open it these are like, okay, because it, it won't make sense. So do you see this? So that's clear in the front, right? So these are stackable clothing holders, okay, with handles. So I'm going to take all of the boys and our off season clothes. So like when we go to fall, I'm gonna take all of their summer clothes, pop them in here, fold it in nice, put them under our bed and the storage in the, in the RV. And then you can see exactly what you have through this little clear window. So you're not opening it up, searching through everything. Super, super nice. I think these were $25.99 for three. I'm also going to use that for extra bedding and sheets and things. So Amazon find, it's fantastic. Um, this is not exciting. This is just a, because you don't wanna drill stuff into your wall in an RV. Like you wanna avoid that if at all necessary. Um, so we got this toilet paper folder and it's adhesive. So it came with this like giant adhesive sticker, two of them. 
and we got the matte black. So you, it's really cool. I see this is how you know you're old, like you're impressed by toilet paper holders, but whatever. And then it's got room on top. Like I, I see myself just setting my phone on this or like just setting things on it, but you put like extra toilet paper on there, the roll right there. And you have the option to drill it in, like if you wanna buy this for your house, but we're gonna use that adhesive strip. So we got that from Amazon, it's $14.99. We got, so, and again, this will make more sense when I do the tour of our rig. Um, but I got this command brand damage free hanging. Uh, it's technically called an under sink cabinet caddy, but I'm gonna use it in the shower. So in the shower, it like you can see, it's got these openings where you can easily fit shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body wash, whatever else. So this was $11.99. Command strips, which you can get anywhere. I got a I got a laundry hamper to go in our bathroom. And this kind of you're gonna hear screaming out there because these kids are out there with Anthony's. So. This feels different. Can you hear that? It's like a okay. That's fine. Not what the material is expecting. It's like plastic -y. But, but this will fit in our bathroom or next to my bed. I'm not sure where yet. But it's got these bags that pull out of there and it's got two separators. So we can put towels and clothes in one area. So I think that was $19.99 on Amazon. I got a bunch of the Hefty brand throwaway coffee cups for the weekend. We're taking a couple glass ones that I can rewash, but these are just for like weekend trips and when we're not wanting to do dishes. Oh, Kaylee, what did we do? Cool. I got a spray mop because this is the stuff you get excited about when you're approaching 30. Um, so we already have this miniature vacuum that we've had for like through two months or so. And I'll try and show that. I'll try and remember and show that in a later video. But it's like a miniature vacuum. And this is a spray mop. Just really like, you have to look for things that like will fit into small spaces. So this is just kind of a, it's not gonna be this short, obviously. Like I'm not gonna be like crawling to mop, but it's very like thin. It'll fit into storage easily. So I love that. I got the Better Life Naturally Dirt Destroy Dirt Destroying I've only had three sips of wine, like I'm not even kidding. <sighs> Naturally dirt destroying floor cleaner by Better Life. Squirt and mop, citrus mint, safe for any floors. You don't wanna ever soak your floors like in the RV, but I just do like a quick mist after um, I vacuum. And it's just like a super easy way to, you know, get everything clean. Um, and then the last, oh no. No. So again, remember how I said um, I got the plastic wear like for the week. So for the weekends, or we're not wanting to do dishes, I found the Dixie um, microwavable plates. I got this many. Cool. And then your kitchen, right? You don't have, well, people do but you don't want glass bowls. You don't want glass measuring cups. You don't want glass anything. Like get rid of glass just to save yourself some trouble. I found this on a shelf by itself. We couldn't find a price on it. So they gave it to me for $7.99. This has a five liter large mixing bowl, three liter calendar, yeah. A six liter sifter, five liter mixing bowl, one measuring cup, um, half a cup measuring cup, a third, a fourth. Yeah, literally everything you need. It's an eight piece prep set. Um, and I found this at TJ Maxx. So with TJ Maxx, you know, like if it's at mine, it may not be at yours. That's the thing, it's hit or miss. But key is if you're looking for something, not just in your camper, even at home, if you're wanting to save some space, find items that nest in each other. So these eight pieces fit in one space. So that's huge, especially when space is... Uh, not um plentiful <laughs> in your rv so this is this was an amazing find then i got this collapsible microwave food cover folds flat for storage 
prevents food splatter. So anything, again, just to save on this, save because like a big reason as to why we're doing this is to spend more time doing things that are important. Cleaning, I will do what I need to do. I'll do the floors, I'll do the bathrooms and stuff, but like extra messes that can be avoided, I want to avoid them. So this is going to be awesome. Last thing is, and again, this was at TJ Maxx, so you can probably Google it. Um, it was $12.99, um, and it's an expandable cutlery tray. So it, span, it expands to fit a variety of drawer sizes, minimum of 29 by 38 by 5.5 centimeters <clears throat> to 11 and a half by 15 by two and one fourth inches. So yeah, really cool. So on the back, you can see they do like a little demo situation back there. But I got this because the drawers in our RV are different than like the drawers in our kitchen. So I just wanted to make sure what I got would separate and keep our cutlery organized because I am bringing some regular silverware and then I'll have um, some plasticware as well. But this was an awesome find. So that is what we have so far. Um, I will be, today is Wednesday. We'll be moving in Sunday, I believe. I think we were playing on Sunday. So um, after we get everything done, get everything clean, I'm gonna do a deep clean, get us moved in, get everything organized. The boys' bedding has to come in. I've gotta take all of that stuff to get cleaned at the laundromat. The laundromat is where it's at. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited about everything. I did not think I was going to get this many items at once, but it's kind of one of those days where I had a checklist and I just kept finding what I needed. Okay, needed. I don't think so, Kaylee. <laughs> but anywho, it's okay. We live in denial over here. That's fine. It's going to all look really cute. So here is just the comforter and sheet, um, or, you know, the comforter and the sheet set. Not a set. I had to buy them separately, but they're from Target. And here are all the items from Amazon that I neglected to mention. Um, so I forgot these were coming. So that green tote, it's plastic, so it can be rinsed out. We're going to use it for outdoor storage for all the toys and keep it under our RV. Um, sorry, this is cut off. Um, yeah. But I got the boys um, foam toppers for their bunks. Their bunks are comfortable, but I wanted some more squish to them. So I got them the twin size two inch. Um, and that will be here now soon and then again um so you do not want to drill into your walls if you can avoid it unless you know it's a tv with like you know instructions on like where you can actually do it so we got um everything you can remove from your counter and get off of that to use that space so that paper towel holder will you know clear up counter space put that in our kitchen area and then for the bunkhouse instead of just a normal decorative rug I wanted to get the boys something they could use to play because every inch of space is important you know when space is limited so I got them this so they can play with their cars in their bunkhouse and they can utilize that entire space um, and I got a little runner rug for our living room area and um, it's just gonna it's gonna make it warm and cozy um, I cannot wait to get all this stuff in our RV and, you know, show you guys. I can't wait to see it myself. Um, thank you guys so much for staying tuned and please tune back in for more videos, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.